Well, don't be surprised if you see kids walking around in costume this evening. Jewish people around the world are celebrating Purim. It is a joyous holiday when children dress up, play games, and spread the goodness of charity. CBS 2's Cindy Shu takes us to one celebration in New Rochelle. Welcome to the Purim party at Bethel Nursery School in New Rochelle. The children are wearing costumes because Queen Esther had to disguise her Jewish identity to survive in ancient Persia, but then revealed herself to save the Jewish people. The kids love this festive holiday. What are you dressed up as? A pilot. Ah, you look wonderful. What do you have there? A whistle. Let's hear it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good job. Nice. Another tradition is listening to the Book of Esther, which tells the story of Purim, and eating certain foods like stuffed cabbage, kreplock dumplings, and the hamantaschen cookie, which is a holiday favorite. Tell me what you're eating. Um, um, hamantaschen. Is that a special cookie? Yeah, because it's Purim. The special food we eat is called a hamantaschen, from the word haman. Haman was the bad guy in the story. Haman's hat was a triangle shape. Whenever Haman's name is mentioned, the kids drown it out with noisemakers for fun. Hello. The holiday is also about helping others. Children go house to house collecting money for charity and giving out food baskets. We have opportunities to give um, uh, packages of food to people. An important part of the holiday is the opportunity to give money to the poor. The children at Beth Al are collecting shoes for the needy. For the group, Souls for Souls. Distributed to the over 47 million families living in poverty who don't have shoes. It just makes it resonate for our children. It's also customary to eat, drink, and be merry. So enjoy and happy for them. In New Rochelle. CBS 2 News.